Go on. Go on, I'm ready now. So Tom, mm -hmm. what's an aspect of the 1840s style you'd like to bring into the modern day? The high-waisted trousers are fantastic. They should absolutely 100% be brought back. They're the most comfortable thing in the world. I love um, a lot of the high neck collars. Jane, hello Jane. Jane has asked us both, what's the most helpful part of your costume for getting into character? For me, I love it when her jewellery is all really simple. That to me feels like Victoria at home in her day wear, um, where she has got like the cameos and the very simple kind of um, more stripped back uh, Victoria. For me, the whole thing really, but if there was one bit, it's the stock that you'd tie around your neck. Okay, Sam asks us, if you weren't playing Victoria and Albert, what other characters in Victoria would you be interested in playing? Ooh, good question, Sam. Do you want to go first? No. Okay. Francatelli. It's just a great name. Great name. You, you learn how to cook. You'd yeah. be great at whisking you get eggs. Lots of, you get lots of cooking puns. So you get to wear a chef's outfit. Yeah. That'll break up the, the monotony of just wearing, you know, coats yeah. and waistcoats. You get to work with chocolate, like, all the time. Who would I play? Maybe Ada Lovelace. A real incredible lady. Or... Can I play a man? Yeah. Maybe Peel. I think I like I like Sir Robert Peel. I think he's very. Uh, I think Nigel plays him very uh, well observed, and there's some incredible um, quotes from Victoria talking about him. Like he's he's got really funny mannerisms and funny tics and things like that. So I think um, I think he's quite an interesting character. Cynthia Question. wants to know what did you learn about Victoria and Albert during season one? You were unaware of prior to starring in the series. I learned some really cool information actually that Victoria wrote to the Elephant Man every year which I really loved. Also she was obsessed with Jack the Ripper and tried to find out who who the killer was and she was like writing letters to loads of people saying things like have you <coughs> thought about looking in this place or this place? Me? <clears throat> so much is the honest answer. An unbelievable amount. He wasn't the best dancer when he was a teenager. He was a bad hunter. This is true. You can t you can answer my question. For when we went to Blair Athol, they kind of all the all the all the people that were working there and kindly hosted us had lots of anecdotes that had been passed down through the generations about how Albert was basically a very terrible hunter, but he'd go out every day. And actually, if you read Victoria's diaries, it's all like, oh, Albert arrived home, no luck, no luck. And um, did they fake it so he could? Uh, stag or something? No, he had. Uh, you, he went out with with a guy who every day would come back and tell everyone that he'd done very well. When actually, he was probably terrible. wasn't doing doing great. No, and then he gave him a fifty pound tip at the end, which would have been a lot of money in those days. <laughs>